Welcome back everybody, this is Brother Mutant here. Today we're going to talk about how to get another accolade. This is a clickable ability called the Eye of the Magus. Now this one I've just acquired, it's a little pain in the butt to get, but I will actually walk you through how to get it, because I actually can this time. So, first off, it's going to be several exploration badges. I'll walk you through those in a moment, but I'm going to go over the uh, defeats badges. There's four of those as well. Uh, and that's all you really need. I know that sounds like that would be simple, but they're quite large. So we have 200 Banished Pantheon Spirit Mass, which is the one I've just completed, and I'll show you a nice hunting area for that. Uh, there's 100 Carnival of Shadows Summoned Illusions uh, uh, that you have to defeat for the Illusionist Badge. Uh, and then the Soul Binder Badge, 200 Circle of Thorn Mages. That's easy enough. Again, I can show you an area for those. Um, matter of fact, you'll probably just get that naturally as you progress throughout the game. But the Sioux Sorcerers, which is the Tracer Badge, there's 200 of them, and I can show you a couple good hunting grounds for them as well. Now, uh, one of those, the 100 Carnival of Shadows Summoned Illusions, is a little um, hard to explain. So the uh, main bad guy that you would fight, one of them, the Dark Ring Mistress is one, but the other is a floating biatch that likes to freaking go uh, intangible, to the point where she can't be targeted, or sorry, you can be targeted, but you won't do any damage. You'll say untouchable, untouchable. Uh, she can attack you, sadly, while that's going on, which is extremely annoying. She likes to summon pets, and including uh, copies of herself, and those count towards those summoned illusions. Uh, that's what you want to do. Now, there is a mission that you can get from, uh, I believe, Harvey Mailer. And uh, Harvey Mailer gives you a uh, Defeat All Carnies in the Office setting mission. When you get that mission, I highly suggest you keep repeating it. You do not finish it. Just keep repeating it and farm it to get those hundred illusions out of the way. Now, you will get that as you fight the game naturally anyway, but if you really want to farm it to just make sure that this drives home, that's the mission that you guys want. And again, Harvey Mailer is the contact for that one. Uh, you can get Harvey through a variety of different contacts. Uh, Madeline Carey, I believe, or Casey, something like that, is uh, one of them, and she's in Founders Falls. She's at lower levels before Harvey. Uh, then levels equal to Harvey, you'll find Crimson will pass him off as a contact, so will Maria Jenkins and the uh, Unai Kennan. So between those uh, four contacts, you should be able to get Harvey. Um, it's a very fun mission. Actually, it's a really good mission to test stuff out. You actually saw that in the other video, if you're watching my other videos, um, where I literally am showing you how the psychic damage uh, is the conning for... Um, range or AOE or melee, it's conning straight for Psy defense and that's it. Now this particular badge won't be useful for that, but will be useful for other things. This one is Eye of the Magus, so let's actually take a look at it. This is resistance to all, defense to all, except psionic. And it's misleading. Uh, it's not all. It's, um, it's not positional defense, it's the type defense. So literally smashing, lethal, and so and so forth. So again, it uh, takes a, a big while to recharge. Global recharge seems to trim it down, so that's nice. Uh, the 30% resistance to everything, smashing, lethal, fire, cold, energy, negative, and toxic is extremely helpful uh, for one minute. And then, of course, you have your defense, and it's a 50% defense bump to smashing, lethal, fire, cold, energy, negative. And again, you see there is no toxic defense. There is no side defense. And, of course, there's no melee, AOE, or range defense here. So that's kind of a bummer especially for someone like me who's been building around melee, AOE, and range. But still, these numbers put you in really good standing for everything else. I mean, I was literally near the hundreds for all these categories because my other stats are so damn high. So that's really, really nice. Um, again, it only lasts for a minute. One of the reasons I suggest getting this is not just for like a squishy tune, uh, not for those oh shit moments, which is definitely what you'll use it for, but it's definitely useful for those builds that have uh, a god mode, uh, those are like your tanks, your brutes, your scrappers, even stalkers have a god mode where you activate an ability and that ability keeps you uh, at high defenses, it keeps you at uh, high resistances, you know, either or high regen and even, and those last for a specific set amount of time, hence, you know, god mode, it is not permanent, and then after it crashes, usually there's a crash is pretty nasty. And a lot of people have built in so much recharge that they can almost keep God Mode up perma so that they can literally activate it, run down, beat the shit out of bad guys, and have uber defenses or resistances. And then as soon as it crashes or shortly after it crashes, they're able to reactivate it again. Now, the reason that that's important is if it's a window of one minute, at the very least, I can get your God Mode 
this eye of the magus to fill that gap for that one minute while it's recharging then god mode again now sadly it's not going to be up fast enough for you to keep that cycling however you can have god mode damn near back to back is what we're basically telling you and that's that's pretty good if a fight lasts you longer than that then something really bad is going on you're trying content way harder than you should be but anyway let's get back to our farming okay so we yeah, we had uh, the sioux sorcerers the circle of thorn mages the carnies illusionists uh, as well as the banished pantheon spirit mass so we're in echo dark astoria and if you look in your map up in the upper corner here this big red zone is a good place for hunting mass so these are these little floating bastards so there's uh well here let's actually just show you where they are i'm going to show you the pattern so again i just uh follow the wall it really is a wall in area uh you're looking for glowing mass so basically anything that draws your attention like glowing energy Sadly, these guys will throw up big fucking bonfires of glowing energy, and you'll think it's a mask, and it's not. So here's a spirit of sorrow, for instance, is one. There's a spirit of death, a spirit of pain, and a spirit of, um, you know, there's a fourth one, a spirit of lust or some such. Uh, here, let's see if I can find it. Uh, I don't see a mask in here. There's a spirit of death. Um, so sorrow and death. Uh, now don't confuse these totems as mass. They are not the same thing. They don't count towards the kill. Uh, you basically, if you hunt this area, you follow the road-ish. Uh, and you'll see these damn husks. Every once in a while you'll see a mass floating around the husks, but by and large they're not. They're around the sorcerers. Here's another one. This is, um, pain. Uh, here's one of the one. Here is, ah, desire. That's the fourth one. Spirit of desire. Now if you're really good at making macros, and I am not, but if you're good at making macros, uh, key binds and such, uh, and special buttons that you can activate, you can type in find spirit. And because it says spirit of whatever, every time uh, for every one of those masks, you literally can just cycle through it pressing the button and don't have to worry about is there one over there. If I just look in the general direction, press the button, poof, it'll zoom in on the first and only spirit that's over there. Uh, so that's a good way for you to actually find the mass quicker than what I was doing. I was literally hunting for like this from party to party, going to the area, seeing that there wasn't one. Then I come up here, and as far as the map is concerned, let's leave that up. I don't come down this path because I almost never find any in that little corner. I come up to this road though, hang a left, follow the road a little bit, look for mass of course as I'm doing it, uh, and then cuts right here. Sometimes there's some there, sometimes there's some right here. Uh, sadly, they're not cooperating. Then. Uh, look for again floaters so here's another mask a spirit of death uh, again follow the road uh, yes I find super jump is really helpful for stuff like this because it gives you the altitude you need and moving quickly a spirit of desire quickie is that a word quickly there we go um, here's a spirit of sorrow uh, and again if you follow a set path almost every time you, you get a real good feel for where they might be. There's another one. Man, I'm getting really lucky right now. Normally I can average, I'd say on a complete circuit, I'd say about seven. I'd get about seven mass on average. Uh, and there's times, of course, where you take the complete circuit and you won't find but like two. And it'll just piss you off beyond all measure. Um, but yeah, they're all the way throughout here. But again, the big glowing booms of energy will draw your attention and then many times it will turn out to be nothing. Uh, or at least nothing that you can farm and and then you'll find ones like this where they're just hidden in the green, green ball of flame so if you make that complete circuit up to about here cut back over come back down you'll be surprised at how quickly you'll find that 200 um, I don't suggest trying AOE moves uh, for instance I have um, where is it at? Uh, this only one right here and in many cases, it's not strong enough to kill it. Uh, in that particular instance, I got lucky. Uh, that's probably because I was stilt. But, um, yeah, it's a little annoying. Let's take you to another city zone, though, where you can uh, hunt other guys. Uh, let see. I want to go to IP. So let's just TP to, like, Talos or some such. I'm using my wet horse teleporter here. King's Row is close to the, the train. You get really good, at, by the way, at teleporting and finding different ways to teleport your character. Or Boros is useful, but it's on a cooldown. Cooldown's not that bad, but uh, when it's uh, not taking you where you need to go, that's the sucky part. 
Uh, but if you know that you have the Wentworth teleporter, it's extremely useful. I almost always like end up zoning out in Wentworth. So selling stuff and buying stuff and then I log off the game. But that charges up really quickly. Uh, come on, train. We're going to IP North. And this is going to be for your sorcerers, the Sioux sorcerers. This is the tracer badge. You need 200 of these goobers. I'll show you the circuit I take for it. This is not the only place you can find Sioux sorcerers. Uh, many people were suggesting that you go to Steel Canyon North, and there are some up there. There's just not many, and the circuit's not very large. So I wanted a circuit that was very big so that I'm basically running in and out of the zone so that they reset. That's kind of my goal. So if you start over here, let's look at the map up. If you start over here, far as I can get. You're basically going to take a circuit that's going to take you over here, up the bridge, come back around, go back to the bridge, come back down, circle this little area, come back over here, you'll hop across, land here, and then start the circuit all over again. So I come to the wall, uh, look over here, and I'm literally I'm tabbing all the time looking for guys. So here's a spot where you'll find them, but it's not one. Sometimes you'll be here, but unlikely. Sometimes they'll be duking it out over here or over here. Uh, you'll find, you skip past this, that every once in a while you'll find someone over here fighting. And basically anywhere you see mobs, there's a chance that's going to be a sorcerer. Here's a fine example of two of them. And if you have AoE, this is where having a decent AoE comes in handy because these guys are low enough level that a good level 50 character AoE is going to bitch slap the hell out of them. Uh, sadly, I will miss and when I do miss, those little bastards like to teleport away. So make sure you have another attack queued up and ready to shoot at them. Uh, but basically, you're going to come up this road. And just tab, 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 tab. And I always just keep looking at this. Instead of checking this out, it's too small. Look up here and look for suit. Anytime you see T-S-O-O, -O, you know it's a chance that there's a sorcerer in there. Stop, at the very least, and look for him. Uh, you don't have to kill all the other guys and just ignore them. Uh, kind of weird that you're going to be farming these and you're going to randomly ignore people getting mugged. It's kind of the, the downside of this farming. Uh, but here's one right now, right? Take him out. I can't keep another attack just in case he were to sneak out. And then just keep on going up and down the road. And basically, I'm not going to stop at all of them. I'm just going to keep going. But basically, you go up and down the road. You tab, tab, tab. Look for Sue. Look for Sue. There's another sorcerer there. They'll be on the left, they'll be on the right. It's easier to find them, I, I find, going north than when we return and go back south. Uh, but that's probably because they're kind of hidden by some of the building or the cement structures. So you hop off here. Sometimes there's one or two down there. There'll be bad guys here, but I've never found any to be up this road. Uh, I find them over here all the time, around the corner. You'll find an example right there. Uh, we'll come down this road here, we'll search this way, but by and large I don't see any usually this way. I'll see some like right here. There's one right now. Every once in a while there'll be some over here or around this truck. Uh, find some over here every once in a while, so check it. Down here sometimes, so feel free to check it. But if you're in a big hurry, the road's right your best bet. Yeah, you'll find bad guys just peppered throughout. Sometimes you'll find some down there fighting. Sometimes you'll find some over here fighting. But by and large, once you get back to the bridge, you know what you're doing. You're just repeating the process, going in reverse. And this is the cement structures I'm talking about. They'll be hidden behind it, so sometimes you won't see them until it's like there and it's gone. It's, uh, you clicked on it so fast or you didn't click fast enough to actually catch them. So you may not see as many as you think going south on this bridge. But that's okay. Just complete the circuit, come back down, and instead of following the back uh, way across, we're going to hop down here now Oof. and come up this road. Sometimes there's some of this way over here. Definitely you'll find one or two sometimes there. And once in a while you'll find some guys fighting down there. Just keep going. Oh, and just tab, 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 and again, keep looking for Sorcerer Sue, however you want to do it. But find it up here, it's just easier. Sometimes I'll find them over here fighting. Sometimes they're here like you see these guys are. Sometimes they're over here or over here by these uh, park benches. Down here some, but it's not the ones we want. Uh, and again, once you complete that circuit, come back over here. Sometimes you'll find some here, like you're seeing these guys now. And then just cut across. Now, you, now you're probably not going to find them again. Cut across, 
go all the way across. This is, by the way, uh, Penelope Yin, who starts that mission, the task force. Hop past her to this truck over here, and you've completed the circuit and repeat the process. If you do that, literally, uh, it, it won't take you terribly long. It's annoying. See, there's a fine example of one right now. It won't take you terribly long to complete the 200. Uh, if you're starting from scratch, like literally you have zero, it's going to be a bitch. Don't get me wrong. I spent the better part of my morning today finishing up a hundred or so of these guys. But I knew I had the good circuit. Once you have a good pattern uh, and a good attack, that will literally hit them, kill them almost every time. Because if you miss, then it sucks. Because, uh, like I said, they like to teleport. But that will finish off the Sioux Sorcerers. Again, the Circle of Thorn Mages, they're nothing special. You can hunt those in Perez Park, I want to say, or the Hollows. Uh, but by and large, you will complete those just by doing Task Force, so I'm not going to show you stuff like that. And again, the Carnival of Shadows, the Summon Illusions, that's the Illusionist badge. That one alone, uh, it's easier, I find, for that one, because it is such a specialty one that you want to find Carney Missions. And you find those Carney Missions, it doesn't have to be set at plus four times eight. I can find those missions and do it at plus zero or minus one even times four. Uh, and uh, farm that uh, office mission with a weak character and still get plenty of those uh, illusionists to pop up. Do that, and that solves that problem. Now, we need to take you to the uh, four exploration badges that you need. So this is going to be trippy. So we have King's Row, Bridgetown, uh, one's in Echo Fault Line, and one's in Dark Astoria. So let's go to King's Row first. And King's Row is going to be the Mystic Badge. The Mystic Badge, um, uh, for those that want the location, it's minus 376, uh, 70, 245 will be the location. But again, I have uh, Pine and I have, not Pine, I have um, Vidia Maps and it allows me to look for it. So I can always just find it by setting that. So this is the Mystic King Badge we're looking for. Mystic King and Mystic Queen, excuse me. Uh, it's number three, not the plaque three, but the badge three, right there. And if you right-click it, you'll slap a thumbtack on it for the time being and take it right to where you want to go. Let's just head over here. Take the thumbtack back off because it gets in the way. So we are at top. Yeah. Right there. There's bad guy right on top of the roof. Then we're going to go to uh, Brickstown. Is Bricks attached to us? No, I think Bricks is on a tram. So let's head to the train. And like I said, uh, getting these, the, the weird part of this is the echo. You have to go to an echo location to get the last badge. And therefore, you won't be able to get it until you have access to Ouroboros. So that's not going to be, I'm level one. Let's go get all these things and bang them out now. So I have it for my very weak character. Uh, so you're going to have to get, what, I think it's 15 or 20 before you can get to Ouroboros officially. And that's even if someone just drops a portal for you. Once you get to that level and you say, hey, open a portal, poof, in you go. Uh, so then you have access. And then they, if you grab the badge, which you should totally do, then you would have access to Ouroboros whenever you want. Uh, so now we're looking for, in Bridgetown, the Mystic Badge. So again, if you zoom in a little bit here, the Mystic Badge is number one. Where's Badge 1? There's two, there's one right there. So that's where we're headed. If I'm over to grab this one. This is one of those um, accolades, in my opinion, that if you know you have a squishy ish character, you definitely want it. Uh, it's not amazing, I'll grant you. For one minute, you're pretty awesome. Uh, but it's not going to save your ass every time. And it's not up enough that you can. Just claim it as being woohoo, look at me. Alright, now I want to say it's on. Here it is, right there. That's your Mystic Badge on the uh, catwalk. And then from there we need to go to Dark Astoria. Now I believe 
This is Dark Historia. Uh, the actual Dark Historia, which is here. So that's going to be off of Talos, I believe. Uh, I don't think it has a tram that gets you there. It's not Echo, I don't believe. At least I didn't write down that it was Echo. There is an Echo Dark Historia as well, by the way. And there are badges there as well, and they're completely different than the badges you can get from Dark Historia currently. So make sure to go to both, but there's no need to go to both if you're just looking for this one badge, is what I'm telling you. So we want to tell us. And there should be a side, a pathway to get to Dark Story from Talos. And we're looking for the Dark Mystic badge. For, again, for those of you that want the digits on that, that's 1678 52833. Uh, there's Dark Story right there. So we have the Dark Story. Uh, by the way, for those of you who wanted the numbers for the Mystic badge in Bridgetown, negative 59332. 1378 to get you where you're going. So again, if you don't have video maps, you can do the uh, backslash LOC and, and track your numbers that way. So head over to Dark Storia, and we're going to grab the Dark Mystic badge there. Another place, by the way, to farm mass for those of you that are in the area. Just to show you where we're at here. This circle over here, this, this city zone, you can hit those square blocks and, and get a pretty good circuit going. It's not ideal. Uh, you can do it with a team, though. And, and again, highly recommend that all these defeats are done with a team, even if it's you and one person. I, I completed this on another character. Uh, didn't get the Mystic badge. I'm still missing the Illusionist, sadly. And that's for Super Radman, and he needs to use this because he has Blabber. But um, I did uh, complete the Pantheon mass with a, a random pug guy was actually hunting in the area. He said, hey, you're hunting mass too? I'm like, yeah, matter of fact, I am. You want to team up? Yes, please. And we actually completed a really good circuit. So let's see. Uh, where are we doing? Matter of fact, he was the one that showed me that circuit. If I could remember his name, I would shout out to you, buddy, but I totally forget now. <laughs> uh, we are looking for a badge. And it's not here. So that really means it's Echo Dark History. And that's okay. Uh, so you saw those badges. Uh, and again, uh, seven looks like it's actually in life out of death is actually pointing that it's actually in position one or point one right there um so to do this next one then we really need to go to Ouroboros and we have both of those then in Echo one's in Fault Line Echo one's in Dark Astoria Echo so let's actually head to Dark Astoria Echo first Get Dark Story Echo. Let me make a note of that. Okay. Now the good news is, you see that the badges are still listed. So they have new badges here. So here's your Dark Mystic is number one. So we're looking for badge one. It's right there. And again, like I said, the badges are completely different between Dark Historia now and Echo Dark Historia. Fortunately, Vidiot Maps has both. Uh, so feel free to grab Vidiot Maps, get both sets of badges because chances are you're going to want them if you're a completionist like I am. downside of Dark Story, as you can see, is the, the fact that you can't see. So, there was a, a time where the devs went out of their way to, uh, it was like random as all hell, and they literally uh, took away the fog one day, and it was trippy, man. Like, you're running through the area looking for badges and stuff because people didn't have video maps, and they were running through the area going, holy hell, I can see everything. This is weird. But here's your Dark Mystic right there on top of that roof. And then from there, we need to go back to Ouroboros because we need to go back to Echo uh, Fault Line. Yeah. And this one is a pain in the ass because, again, a lot of people have video maps and video maps does not have that updated. 
So it says, you know, go into fault line and pick it up, and you're standing over the area where you think the area is, and you're like, where is it, where is it? It's a pain in the ass. So you can't find it, and then you can get on the forums and find out that it really is an echo fault line. And Vidiant Maps doesn't have a, a map for echo fault line to show you where those, uh, I want to say there's like three or four badges that you have difficulty finding in fault line. One of them is that. And it's because again they're an echo. So head back to your Ouroboros over here. Like so fortunately we don't have to go to Ouroboros and go to Echo Fault Line from here. And this will be your last badge. This is the Faultless Mystic badge. And it's a location uh, that says 845, or sorry, negative 845, negative 407, which means below ground, and negative 715. Now this one is a pain in the ass. Uh, in that it's in a crack uh, so chances are if I follow where I've been I'll find it and again you see that it's not listed so you see we're in the crevices right now uh, so more likely than not it's over here somewhere and once I fall into the crack I'll start showing you what I'm talking about so again if you get in the crack uh, and then you start backslash LOC Boom, and you gotta be under global so you can read it. You can see where you're at approximately. So now if you go here, repeat it, we're getting real close. And again, I said it was minus 845. Matter of fact, I'm almost standing right on top of it because I'm looking right at it. There's your guy right there. Uh, so if you can zoom out on the map just to show it to you, upper corner over here, down in this crevasse, and uh, just north then of precipice. And you'll actually fall down a crack and you'll actually get that bad one. And that is your fourth exploration badge. And that's the last one you would need. I like to get those uh, exploration badges as soon as I can. So I, I, if I'm in a mission, for instance, and I'm fighting the you know, carnies and just happen to ding, hitting just enough of those damn illusionist things on a party, then suddenly I have an accolade. Okay? So I'm not, you know, tracking down history plaques or... Uh, uh, location or exploration badges uh, just to complete things because I, I feel that that's silly if that's like the last thing that's holding you up is you didn't walk around and, and just run over a badge that just is like why the hell did you not just go there and do that and yeah, whatever but yeah that'll do it for you guys that will get you the eye of the magus and again a 50% increase to smashing lethal fire cold energy negative energy attacks not sigh and not toxic not melee, AOE, or defense. And they'll give you a 30% flat buff uh, resistance wise to smashing lethal, fire, cold, energy negative, and toxic, which is nice, but not psi. So again, between the Eye of the Magus though and your elusive mind, you're pretty darn tough. Matter of fact, let's just be a jerk and activate those. Both, they're both a minute long look at our combat attributes here's our resistance is 75 percent smashing 75 percent 46 46 46 46 25 and that's even with a loose mind up and toxic resist at 46 which is very nice my defenses range melee and we were always that good I'm not here smashing here's lethal fire cold energy negative and a really nice side defense so literally couldn't be tougher in my opinion for that one solid minute now they wear off quick and then again you're back to a massive cooldown it says 25 minutes but they seem to be 20 now maybe it's a global recharge thing or maybe it really is the tooltip is wrong so if anyone knows better on that let me know see if things like hasten speed that up i don't know uh, but i'm fairly certain that hasten does uh, and that's nice uh, from there, uh, the Vanguard medal I already have showing you guys that, I believe, and of course the crate pistol showing you that one, which again is not particularly really exciting. Ooh, so a black unknown. Um, but uh, I think these are all the clickables. Now, now there's a mirror image version of all of these on the villain side. For instance, the villain, instead of having this crate pistol, they get the nullifier. So. I went evil and you see that I'll have opposite ones. It's 
stolen immobilizer. There it is. Uh, and it's the same general thing. Same amount of damage, same amount of everything. It's just what it does. And it looks different. So instead of a little ice beam, this is literally a, a, a laser ray or whatever that will do the same amount of damage, uh, same amount of mobilize, minus speed, minus recharge, which is like this one. It's just the villain version of it. And the same with my other uh, accolades that are buffing my hit points and my endurance. You see, born in battle, high pain threshold. These are the villain versions of them. So when you go evil and come back like I have, they make a mirror copy of all of them when you get to the other side. So again, pretty damn cool. Uh, but with that, my name is Brother Meaton. Please like, subscribe, comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. I'll see you guys soon. Bye now.